Howdy, church. It's time for our five minutes with God. I have been reading the book of Romans. We've been doing this series for the last couple of weeks called More Than Conquerors, um, which comes from Romans chapter 8. I've been reading Romans, specifically Romans chapter 8, but I, man, it's just really been so uplifting and encouraging to me. Let me just give you a little, little piece of Romans chapter 8. Verse 22, it says this, We know that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Not only so, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, grown inwardly as we eagerly await our adoption as sons and the redemption of our bodies. Here, here, listen to this. For in this hope we were saved, but hope that is seen is no hope at all. Who hopes for what he already has? But if we hope for what we do not yet have, we wait for it patiently. Now, this whole passage is all about hope, which is a huge, huge deal. I love it starts out with the idea of groans of childbirth. When my daughter Lucy was born, uh, we actually were induced. There was a, some minor, very minor complications in the pregnancy, and so we went in to get induced. Now, here's the crazy thing. We went in on Sunday night to kind of get prepared, and on Monday morning, they started the process with the medicine that, that gets the ball rolling, if you will, and that was Monday morning about 7 o'clock. Well, Wednesday at 2, Lucy was born. So for two and a half days, my wife was basically in labor. And so this idea of waiting with like anticipation and kind of groaning, that that idea is very real uh, to my wife and I and our family. This whole thing is talking about uh, waiting with hopeful expectation of what God's going to do. And I love what it says at the end. Hope is not about things that we have seen, but what's to come right now as we're kind of working through this crisis man it is so easy to get stuck looking on what's already happened or what's right here and now what we see and miss the fact that god has something more in store for us that there is hope to come and man if you can get your mind there then it changes everything so here's the challenge one don't get too bogged down looking at the things that are going on today But spend some time looking at what God might want to do in you. Spend some time in God's word right now and pray that God will speak to you. And I know his hope is going to kind of fill us up a little bit. Speaking of hope, I want to encourage you. Make sure you're a part of our weekend service. Share this or share invites to our weekend service because I'm going to talk about hope. And I'm going to give you some tools for how you can make sure you stay hopeful in this time of crisis. So share, invite. Get people to be a part of that service and engage with it. And I know that God's going to speak. All right, have a great day, church. God bless you.